good day. Wake up, today's gonna be a 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 good day. Is that true? So the dolls, dolls, the dowels are in, sanded down. Just needs a final sand just to up the grade a bit, get a finer finish. So they're all in place, looking uh, smart. So that's, that's good. How you doing? Little Ruby is a nuisance. Why? Because... She just can't leave me alone. I can't really do anything. She's on my back. She's rubbing herself against that. It's really not funny. <laughs> Rosa is quite good. She just lies down on the table. But Ruby just wants attention all the time. Yeah. So what are you up to? Uh, recycled or upcycled or reclaimed lampshades that I didn't really like the metal. So I decided I'll coat them with cement and then I'm going to paint up here and a piece of wood here to, to fit, to put the fitting of the light. And uh, yeah, so I've roughed it up a bit to be a bit more... Um, no, it doesn't really show on this, but... Once you've got the wax on it, it will show. Yeah. So I'm doing the same in that one, probably shows better. Yeah on this one as there it's yeah as it's not a very nice day outside mm -hmm. i thought i'll spend some time with a pussycat there excellent but then i kind of regret it because ruby is a nuisance well she just wants loving mm. but how much loving can you give her yeah she no. just doesn't like the spray yeah. okay. uh, and then i've got the fittings I've got the light fittings, yeah. which I'm going to spray the same colour in there, so it all fits in together. Marvellous, can't wait to see it. Yeah. So the last job is to just fill these holes, and I have some wood filler here. So what I'm going to do is put them in, and then add a little bit of... A little bit of black as well. And then we'll let these dry. And give them a little bit of a sanding as well. adds a bit of colour and texture. We'll just do these ones here. If I just add the black, it just really sends it. It will just it won't be just a bland colour, it'll be a bit of a mix. 
That's the plan anyway. Right, we'll just let that dry and then uh, see how that turns out. So now I'm going to wax it before I paint the tops. Uh, let's see how far I can get because my pussy cats are again wanting my loving. So um, shall we do some work? Shall we? Good. Okay, I'll use just a rug. I'm gonna actually cut it in a half. It's easy to maneuver. So first of all, I'm going to use just a, a see-through wax to seal it and then to give it a bit more um, depth, I'm going to use a dark wax so it brings up the bits uh, that I want to stand out more. So we start with this, let's see, let's see how it works. So I just use it in circular motion. Beautiful. So this kind of seals it and brings up the texture that I'm looking for. Okay, so these two are now waxed. Just gonna let it dry. So that's the effect I wanted. Right, the screw heads are done. That's pretty, uh, pretty good. The field turned out quite nice. So Christine has asked me to just cut two circles of wood that need to go in the inside of the lights that she's making. And that will just uh, beautify the inside when you're looking up. Cup of tea and a biscuit. What you got there? Cup of tea and biscuit. Thank you. You didn't make this, did you? <laughs> you didn't make this, did you? <laughs> Dry like mine. <laughs> wow. Mm. It's a little bit like cardboard. <laughs> I didn't make it. <laughs> mm. There's hope for us then if they can sell them like this. And there's hope for you. Mm, that's not straight. <laughs> <laughs> what line am I sending? I think you're being, uh, well, mm. obviously not that one. Huh? You just gotta, yeah. So now I'm gonna wax these pieces of wood, which be the fitting on the inside of the lights. I'm gonna use the dark wax. Now I'm going to give it a bit of colour. Let's see. Ooh. So this will just give it a bit more of a rustic look, which is what we're looking for. 
Espera. This is quite an enjoyable job, actually. So as you can see now, the difference between the two, this is more the look that uh, I was looking for. So, now what's left is I'll do the other one, wax the other one, and then buff them. And then I shall paint this, which I'm looking forward to, will um, transform it again. Although it doesn't look so bad now with the darker color, with the silver, but it's not quite the vision that I have. So I am gonna paint it and uh, I shall show you, exciting. So I'm putting the electrics in, I'm going to just put this conduit in which will go to a junction box up there that will feed down to the lights that are going to be hanging off of here somewhere but I just need to clean this up and get this painted, oh there we go, there, get that painted and then we're just waiting for the lights to be done, we'll position them on the bench here and then Hang them somehow. Christina's over there doing her thing. But we're going to paint these. I'll give these pipes to Christina to to do her her painting. And once we get the junction box up there, we can just feed the wire off from it. So it just tidies it all up. Let's see how she's doing. Well, what are you doing? Uh, so, I'm going to put this thing around it. What's this thing? <laughs> this tape and plastic, so it stops the paint obviously going onto the, the cement. So, it's going to be a bit tricky, isn't it? I might have to do strips. All the best plans. Hmm? All the best plans. Yeah, I wonder if it would be easier just to... Yes, yeah, you got it. Hmm, might be a while. Stay tuned. <laughs> this could, could take some time. While Christina's doing that, I'm going to quickly show you something. I mean, there's a temporary fix. Uh, radio. So, what I did was just fix it. We put a temporary tap in here, uh, just rigged it up somehow, and now it works. So, Christina's happy. I've just got to put some tiles in there and do something down there. Put that up there, and then put all of Christina's stuff. This is Christina's stuff. That's what she has in a cupboard. And I have, that's my stuff. Just a bottle of shampoo or shower gel. Anyway, thought I'd show you that. Let's go and see if she's done it yet. Linda. Yeah, by the power of editing. Christina has uh, done what you done? Yeah, 
So it did it. So it did. Okay, she's just put the stuff to protect it. It's plastic and tape and stuff. Might have to do a little bit and let that dry. Maybe it should dry fairly quickly. Yeah, should have, should have done it all. That wasn't forward thinking. No, but I just want to see it done. You're impatient. Mm. Okay, a little what bit. What's eating my? They're not looking very healthy, are they? I'm sure there's a slag or something. Look at this. Yeah, the avocado trees are getting munched. Uh, those are being grown from seed. Yeah, so they're doing I quite well. We need to buy the frost or whatever. Well, we didn't have any frost. What are you talking about? They look, you know, I they've think got... Uh, 12 at night isn't frosty. <laughs> but I, I need to come out, like, in the evening and check where the slug is. Uh, maybe it's a, a creek cree. Is, it, is that what they are? Snail. No, what's a creek cree? What do you call a creek cree? Guffinut. Oh, what? No, what is a creek cree? It's a guffinut. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. What's that in English? I'm still not the wiser. Uh, the crickery. Grasshopper. That is what they call? Yeah. Or did you make that word up? No, cricket. Crickery. It's a cricket. I know it's a cricket, but you call it a crickery. Yeah. Is that a made up word? <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was a Portuguese word. No, crickery. No wonder it's, nobody understands me when I say crickery. Okay, Christine just calls them crickeries. They're crickets. What is it in Portuguese? Gafanhoto. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay, let's try. <clears throat> okay, ready for the next coat. It's quite cool. I like the mat. It's going to be wonderful. I'm really looking forward to seeing that. Should I do the happy dance? <laughs> <laughs> I've got to take it off. Okay, she's taking it off. You misses are a genius. Look at that. That's looking really good. Mm. Yeah. Nice. That's changed it completely, isn't it? So yeah. far, so good. Looking very good. Well done, you. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. So, I'll let this dry because I need to tip it. Yeah, yeah. Upside down. Yep. Marvellous. I think that looks pretty cool. Yeah, I'm not sure how well it looks looking through the screen here. But in real world, it looks amazing. It's really nice. It's going to be a banana. Comparing with, I need to put it near to one of the others, do you know, the ones we have left, uh, to show from what it was to... I know what you're doing. So, now I'm going to attempt to do two colours inside. Uh, I don't know if it's going to work. But uh, what I want to do is put some specks of black first and then use the copper spray and on top of it good luck <laughs> go for it i don't feel very confident on these you just be confident you're you're good go for it Got a bit more black than I was. Well, that's good. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Okay. <laughs> I reckon that's all right. Yeah. 
Well, you don't want it solid, do you? Uh, no, it's fine. Is that okay with those bits missing? Yeah, because it's a bit of uh, whatever. I quite like this copper. It's darker than I thought. Yeah, that one's quite orangey. Yeah. How cool is that? Yeah. Hmm. It's marvellous. Be nice to tidy this up, wouldn't it? Yeah. No. Huh? What are you doing up there? I'm uh, messing around. Messing. <laughs> Messing I'm around. having uh, lessons on how to wipe myself up. <laughs> Why, well, is that something to do with electrics? Yes, I am doing electrics, but I, uh, yeah. I'm, uh, I'm just doing electrics. Which I do enjoy, actually. Yeah, so guess what? The neighbour just came over with this little gadget which I shall try later. Apparently it kills weeds. It's a heat of 650 degrees, I think. Centigrade, I should imagine. Centigrade, I guess, yes. So uh, I'm going to give it a go in a minute once we finish messing about here with the electrics. So, hopefully, we shall have some lights on today. Yeah? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. That'll be good. That'll make me happy. <laughs> make you happy. Yeah. What's that plank of wood made of? Concrete? Mm. What do you need? Need an electrician. <laughs> yeah. Well, let me show you these. <coughs> these little geniuses. So these are wire connectors, which are great. Push the wire in, they lock in. Happy days. Makes life a lot easier. And then you can get like about five. Is it five? Yeah, you can get five wires spurring off a bit. Mm. Which is better than the old days. So what happens here? Please. Pass me that and I'll show you. Right, so you just line these things up and then they push in like like that. There you go. They push in, and that's it. Simple as in there when I want to spur off it. I just uh, put the next wire in there. There you go. Two connectors. Simple as. So simple. Fantastic. Modern technology. So what are you doing now? Uh, I'm just stripping the wires, getting it ready. So this is looking good. So there's the inside. We just need to put the bulb there now. Looks good. Yeah, we've got uh, the laser level is just Touching, you can see the yeah, green. Yeah, just touching the bottom there. So hopefully, by my calculations, this Let's see if I can touch the green light again. Yeah, 
you too. Yes, Thanks, Trader. So, so there's the green light from our little laser level segment. And now, oops, nearly Fingers fell over. Here we go. Come on. And there is the job. Did you measure that already? I measured it now. I'm hoping. Oh my God, look. It's got the light is underneath it. Is it? Yeah, it's right on the rim. That's ridiculous. Let me see. Yeah, Let me show. Can yeah, you stop it? Yeah, let it, let it that is set. Oh my goodness, that's so nice. You're good, look at this. Yeah, the light is on a rim. Hang on, we need to stop it spinning. The mess we made at this table. They look pretty darn good. And we hit the wires. Yeah. That was clever. Yeah. Oh my God, I love those. Oh, yay. Huh. And then there was light. Was well nice. done, Bubba. Yeah. How cool is that? Looks damn amazing. Of course, uh, the bulbs are as dull as anything, so I won't be able to see nothing. Yeah, but that's ambiance. Ambiance. Oh, Esme, are you so happy? Yes, you are. Yeah, but Esme is all happy. No, she's happy. Yeah. Fix the light. Oh, fix the light. Yeah. You don't have to be in the dark at candle here, do you? Look. What do you think? I got the light. <laughs> yes, that is another job done. Fantastic, well it's a done. It's industrial up there, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. And I've obviously got to put the... The covers up. Okay, Ezzy. Yes. what are you doing? So, then? obviously, I've so just happy. got to put the caps so up happy. there to hide what I've done. I just want to check it's working. So, yeah, that's uh, a good job. Do you not feel like they're a little bit high? No. I suppose you, if you're sitting here, you want to be able to yeah. see. Yeah. Yeah, no, they're perfect. Excellent. Christina has done an amazing job on these lights. They just look fantastic. I can't wait to see them in the dark. Well done, you. Uh, what oil are you putting on, Christina? Um, linseed oil, which I've looked and it's supposed to be the best one. So, yeah. That sign gets everywhere. I know. Keep <laughs> moving it from A to B. So, uh, yeah, where did I put those gloves? There you go. As I said, keep every little bit as I did. Uh, <laughs> General t shirt. Problem is, she keeps cutting the bottom off, and I have to wear like a crop top now. Hmm? Uh, no. Well, I could have sworn I saw. Uh... Yes, I had. We had a bottle in the kitchen. What linseed? Linseed oil. I'm sure we did. I'm sure I bought it for something else. Well, I've never. No, it was food. It was a food bottle. I have never. I remember bringing it out here and uh, using it on the barbecue, and everything tastes like. Um... Linseed. Pretty disgusting. Um, I don't recall ever cooking with it. I'm pretty sure we had a little bottle of linseed oil. But that would have been for my furniture. <laughs> well, why was it doing in the sparse rack? Well, you probably tied it up. I tied an egg there. Yeah, I'll have to... Uh, can you guys tell me, can you cook with linseed oil? My husband seems to think we have some in the kitchen but I don't remember ever using linseed oil to cook. So just let me know. Well, for the first coat, it's come up really nice. So the sun's going down. We have put how many coats on this? Two. Two coats, you putting any more? I don't think he needs it, do you? Quite mm, smooth. It feels good. So, 
the lights are looking fantastic. They've really turned out well. Very pleased with those. Okay. Okay. So we're nearly done with the inside of our outside kitchen. Fantastic job. Uh, this has had two coats now and uh, we're very pleased with the lights and the table. Today we've been working behind you. You can't see it, we'll see it next oh, week. It looks amazing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and uh, that's it for today. That's it. All done. All done. I've had enough. Yes, well, the sun's going down. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, we'll... What? We'll see you next time. Next time. Thumbs up? No. Uh, thanks for subscribing. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all the lovely comments. Thanks for... Uh, I do this every time. What is it? Thanks for whatever. Oh, share. Don't forget to share. Um, <laughs> don't forget to share the video. Yeah, share the video. Yeah. Oh, I've said that before, but share the video. That all helps. Uh, every everything helps. Um, of course, we like to thank our sponsors this week, who are um, James and Christina. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's it for now. We will leave you here. And see you next week. Bye. Bye. Ciao. Ciao. Okay. <laughs> That's rubbish. Yeah, it was a lot of fussing around. Oh, yeah. Let's do one.